Well, hello there, Papper people. My God, it sure is nice to see you all today. First, we gotta do a quick thumbnail. Vote on which one we should do in the comment section down below, ignoring the fact that the it'll already be there. Look, I'm gonna do this on this. I'm gonna go, I'll try to look like I'm questioning. Is that good? Or should I go like this? Hmm. I'll use one of those for the thumbnail. Thanks for voting in the comment section down below. Look here, Papper people. I get a lot of questions and some of them are video worthy. They're like really good questions. Some of them are video worthy and they're just simply not long enough for an entire video. So if I do two, that makes a video. First up, we have a really important one. And this is League of Otters says, if the main danger of sleep apnea is low oxygen levels, why not just wear an oxygen sensor that alerts you whenever your levels are low? All my CPAP does is wake me up randomly throughout the night and destroy my rest. An O2 sensor would do the same thing and be far less annoying. This is one of those questions where I just don't buy into the premise. The statement, the assertion being, if the main danger of sleep apnea is low oxygen levels, that's not the main danger of sleep apnea. The main danger or the main thing that we're trying to address with sleep apnea, and this is actually really frustrating, because the video, the video is why you feel worse with CPAP and how to feel better. This, that whole video is literally, I know all the kids are saying literally when actually they mean figuratively, but literally that's what this video is about. And they ask that question anyway. Okay, so the main danger, or I should say the main hurdle with sleep apnea and CPAP usage is arousals. Why are you waking up? Are you waking up from respiratory effort related arousals, hypopneas, obstructive apneas? If you're waking up from those, it's a simple pressure change. I'm guessing what League of Otters is having a problem with is leaks, mouth leaking. Probably they're on an APAP, which again, I outlined this in the video. If you have this pressure that's all over the place, it's not gonna be good. It's never gonna be right for you. If you have a mouth leak, it doesn't matter what the pressure is. You're gonna be waking up constantly from that. Now. If you're just monitoring your, your blood oxygen levels, that's not really helpful if it's waking you up. Now it's just one more thing to wake you up. What you wanna do is address the problem. Find what fixed pressure you need. If you're having mouth leaking, and I'm talking, look at the trend window of Oscar. You can download it at sleepfiles.com forward slash Oscar. You can download it at sleepfiles.com forward slash Oscar, O-S-C-A-R. And you can see exactly what your leak's doing throughout the night. Is it going up or down? That's not good, <laughs> so fix it. I have videos on that too. We've beaten that one to death. Now is a great time to mention the sponsor of this video, a great supporter of this channel, CPAPsupplies.com. Check out their phenomenal new website. I wanna say something about them that really is not so much an advertisement, but a little something else that's a little more near and dear to my heart. I don't think you realize how much they're helping you guys out. In them sponsoring this channel, it frees me up to provide these kind of videos for you guys that hopefully are educational and entertaining all at the same time. Without their support, I simply could not, I could not do this for you guys. So if you're ever thankful for these videos and you need any supplies, be it a mask, a machine, any type of accessory, head on over to CPAPsupplies.com. I have links for them in the description box down below. I wanna say something else about CPAP supplies. They have never tried to stifle the creativity or the content of this channel. And as a creator, you have no idea how much that means to me. It tells me that they want honest reviews of the products that they're selling. They want you guys to have the best stuff available. Yes, they provide everything. And just because I don't like something doesn't mean that you won't like it. Like a mask. If I give a mask a bad review and I'm just like, you know what, it's not for me. That's okay. It still might be for you. CPAP Supplies recognizes that. They still let me voice my opinion. And I really, really do appreciate that. All of the opinions are my own. CPAP Supplies is here simply to sponsor me, to support the channel, and help get this information out to you guys. Like I said, anytime you guys ever need any supplies, check out CPAPsupplies.com. They have a great discount code for you guys. If you use Lefty20 as a discount code, you get 20% off your order. If there's a better one, they actually have a coupon section where you can save even more. They have some phenomenal deals. If you don't like what you bought, they often have a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can exchange it, swap it out for something you do like. They also take FSA and HSA, and they can even bill your insurance. Please visit the sponsor of this video, CPAPsupplies.com.
Next question, which is awesome, is from Sylvia. Well, hello there, Sylvia. Hi, Jason. Well, hello there, Sylvia. Hi, Jason. Well, hello there, Sylvia. Hi, Jason. So this tape is better than the Somnifix tape? I watched your video on Somnifix tape from the summer of 2020. Clearly, you're liking this stuff better. What she's referring to is cover roll stretch tape. But I didn't catch why you prefer this stuff better than Somnifix. Maybe I missed it. Sylvia, it's not your fault. I stummer and stammer and, and blubber and blabber all the time. It's not real clear. She's talking about cover roll stretch tape. It's this stuff. It comes in a roll of two inches by 10 yards. And here we have a fresh package of Somnifix tape. Now, the reason I like cover roll stretch tape more than Somnifix is every possible reason there is. Number one, let's just simply look at the function of it. I'm going to open the fresh package of Somnifix. And seriously, no knock on the makers of Somnifix. I don't, have a, I don't have a problem with them. I actually think this is a needed product. I just think it could be better. That's all. We gotta be honest here. I'm looking at function. So now here's a fresh thingy of Somnifix. Check out Somnifix. Let's just do a comparison. One, look at how tall that it is. I'll even cheat for it. Let's cheat. Let's put Somnifix at its biggest height. And now you can see it's still, it's, it's, it's an inch shorter. Well, so what, Jason? Who cares if it's an inch shorter? That's good. That's less for it to be on my face. Now, while that's true, if you have a mouth leaking problem, which is, this is what the tape is meant to address, is a mouth leaking problem that's causing you to wake up throughout the night, regardless of if you're on the right pressure or not, you're gonna be waking up anyway because of your mouth leak. So if you have less material to grab, that is less strength, so it's really, really easy to still pop out of that thing. Really easy if you only have one inch. Yes, folks, size does matter. The other thing we have here is a little hole. Now, what I found, so you're right, Sylvia, I, I made a video and I was like, I like this stuff, it's, it's pretty good. And I only use this stuff for a week at the time. I think I mentioned this elsewhere. What I found is, all of a sudden, I started getting uh, this started peeling off and I started noticing my lips were spread and it was shooting out of this little hole. And so I was doing this, not, my lips were not sputtering. It was like a really dry mouth. So I said, crap, this stuff sucks. And that's back when I was paranoid and I thought you needed a hole in the tape because if the power went out, you would die and suffocate. Now what happened between then is power went out. I did not die and suffocate when I had fully taped up my mouth. Let's go ahead and do a demonstration of this. I know this is longer than everyone wants, but let's just really beat this to death. Okay, we're going to apply this. I'm gonna purse my lips. And no, it's already not sticking. So if I were, if I were trying to relax, it, would just, it just pops off. Now, I understand you're like, Skulls not Jason, they have a lot of facial hair. That's right, I do have facial hair. A lot of dudes don't want to shave, so that's a problem. I'm gonna save this for just a second because it has a nice little application that Somnifix is not gonna like. Now let's go to our good friend Cover Roll Stretch Tape. Here is how I put this on. I actually had this pre-cut for tonight. Now I don't get to use it. Now I always dog ear one corner just so I can peel it off easy in the morning because it does stick very well. This is very skin friendly and it's got two inches. Again, size matters. Now watch this. I'm going to purse my lips again and press and seal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see how much more grab that has? I was really trying to relax my jaw. I was trying to allow my mouth to open and I actively forcefully tried to open my mouth. Didn't open. That is the difference between one inch and two inch of vertical sticky grabbiness. It matters. Also, as you'll notice, no hole and this has a hole. That's a problem. Okay, now let's get on to the financial aspect of this. Performance, hopefully that showed you why I prefer cover roll stretch tape. Skin friendly, perfect amount of stick. It's very sticky, yet not too sticky. Also, it does not have a hole. The most, <laughs> and another very important aspect of this, 
This, I will leave a link in the description box down below. You get two rolls of this, which is 20 yards, 20 yards for $11. At least that's what it is right now. And this, you get 28 of them for about $30. What a ripoff. Now, let me show you what one person did. Now, I am not personally advising this because I think you just cut off the whole roll. I think, I think two inches of vertical grab is perfect for this, but they actually use this as a template and then they cut around it to create their shape. Personally, I don't like that idea, but I am passing it along as something someone does because $11 for two rolls of this stuff is a phenomenal deal. And the amount of extra grab that you get by doing that really increases the performance in my opinion. Again, just a humble opinion of a fellow CPAP user and a registered polysomnographic technologist and probably the thickest boy you've ever known. Guys, if you have any comments about this, I really appreciate comments. I love them. I love your thumbs up. Those are fantastic. Check the links in the description box down below for ways you can help support this channel. I also want to thank the Patreon supporters of mine, as well as the YouTube members, as well as everyone who just watches this video. I really, really do appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Bye. Why does your mask smell like my feet? Pick up some Mask Bright today. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick thanks, buddy, to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Matthew Lilly, Mona Swearingen, Chung Chu Chen, Patricia Espalong, Ray Troutman, Sarvesh Joshi, and Stuart Hetherington, as well as a big thank you to all my other Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Little tiny thanks, buddy, for you guys.